Hi and welcome to Furry Tale News. In today's video, we will be discussing 5 common cat behavior problems and how to solve them. Scratching Furniture Scratching is a natural behavior for cats and it helps them mark their territory and maintain their claws. However, it can be a problem if your cat is scratching your furniture. To solve this problem, try providing your cat with a scratching post or pad. Scratching posts should be tall enough for your cat to stretch out fully and sturdy enough to withstand scratching. You can also try using a scratching pad or a cardboard scratching box. Encourage your cat to use the scratching post or pad by placing treats or toys near it. You can also try using a scratching deterrent spray on your furniture to discourage scratching. Be sure to praise your cat and reward them with treats when they use the scratching post or pad. It is also important to understand that cats may scratch certain pieces of furniture for a reason. For example, if your cat is scratching a piece of furniture that is near a window, they may be doing it to mark their territory or to get your attention. In these cases, it may be helpful to provide your cat with a scratching post or pad in a similar location. This can help redirect their scratching behavior and prevent damage to your furniture. Additionally, it is important to trim your cat's nails regularly to help reduce the damage caused by scratching. Nail trimmings can be done at home or by your veterinarian or a professional groomer. Spraying Spraying is when a cat urinates outside of their litter box. This can be a frustrating problem for cat owners, but it is usually a sign that the cat is feeling anxious or threatened. To solve this problem, try to identify the cause of the stress and address it. You may also want to try providing your cat with multiple litter boxes in different locations, as well as using a litter that your cat prefers. It is important to clean the litter boxes frequently to ensure they are always fresh and appealing to your cat. It is also a good idea to provide your cat with plenty of privacy when using the litter box. This may involve placing the litter boxes in a quiet, out-of-the-way location. In addition to addressing the underlying cause of the spraying behavior, it is also important to clean any areas where your cat has sprayed. Use a cleaner that is specifically designed for cat urine and be sure to thoroughly clean and neutralize the area to prevent your cat from being attracted to it again. Aggression Cats can become aggressive for a variety of reasons, such as fear, pain, or a lack of socialization. To solve this problem, it is important to identify the cause of the aggression and address it. You may also want to try providing your cat with plenty of mental and physical stimulation, as well as plenty of places to hide and retreat to. If your cat is displaying aggression towards other pets in the household, it may be helpful to provide each pet with their own space and resources, such as separate food and water dishes and litter boxes. It may also be helpful to gradually introduce the pets to each other using positive reinforcement techniques, and to supervise their interactions until they become more comfortable with each other. If your cat is displaying aggression towards humans, it is important to identify the triggers for the aggression and to avoid or minimize these triggers. It may also be helpful to provide your cat with plenty of mental and physical stimulation through activities such as playtime and puzzle toys. It is also important to remember that aggression in cats can sometimes be a sign of an underlying medical issue, such as pain or a hormonal imbalance. Excessive Meowing Cats can meow excessively for a variety of reasons, such as hunger, boredom, or attention-seeking. To solve this problem, try to identify the cause of the meowing and address it. If your cat is overweight, it may be necessary to adjust their diet and feeding schedule. If your cat is meowing excessively due to boredom, try providing them with plenty of mental and physical stimulation through activities such as playtime and puzzle toys. You can also try rotating their toys and providing them with a variety of play options to keep them engaged. If your cat is meowing excessively due to attention-seeking behavior, it is important to be consistent in your response to their meows. Ignoring the meows and rewarding them only when they are quiet can help discourage this behavior. It is also important to provide your cat with plenty of positive attention and interaction when they are not meowing excessively. Litter box problems. Cats may have litter box problems for a variety of reasons. Such as a dirty litter box, a preference for a certain type of litter, or a medical issue. To solve this problem, try cleaning the litter box more frequently and using a litter that your cat prefers. It is also important to consider the size, location, and number of litter boxes in your home. It is a good idea to provide one litter box per cat in your household, as well as an extra box. Remember that every cat is unique and may respond differently to different techniques. If you continue to experience problems with your cat's behavior, 
It's always a good idea to consult with a professional animal behaviorist or veterinarian for additional guidance. Additionally, keep in mind that preventing behavior issues is often easier than trying to solve them once they've developed. This means providing your cat with plenty of mental and physical stimulation, as well as creating a safe and comfortable living environment. Remember to always treat your cat with patience, understanding, and kindness. Which of these behaviors is your cat displaying? Let us know in the comments. Thank you again for watching and we wish you and your feline companion many happy and healthy years together.